What's going on guys? Victor here. Got my boy Adam for Moving Weight Fishing with me. What up boys? So Adam's got his own channel. I'm going to have it linked below. Last year we filmed an epic commercial Spanish macro video. It's got over a million views. Still one of my favorite videos we've ever made together. Me too, for sure. Take a look behind me. Look at all those fish right there. You guys are going to get to see how we caught all these. Since we're on a commercial vessel, all of these fish are getting sold. None of this is going to waste. And the only reason they're on the deck right now is because we're about to pull up to the dock and they're going straight into the truck to be sold. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, Adam and I just got out here and uh, looks like slow pickings for everybody. If you guys saw on the drone, there are groups of boats everywhere. We're in a mess of people right here. There's another group of boats way down on the beach there, way down on the beach there. Hundreds of boats out here and the majority of the commercial fleet, they'll spend their winter here catching mackerel from like December all the way through April, sometimes even as early as November. Um, this year they showed up really late, so... Oh, look, live action. Add them on. Oh, it's so large, large and in charge. You know the deal, boys. Got my little tube rig here. This is just surgical tube you can get from Home Depot or wherever. A little lead at top, and then a double hook. These fish are lazy right now. The water's super clear, and I'm biting the spoon great, so... They're lazy. Look how I'm working this tube. I'm just barely dancing on top, and they just, they're just slashing back and forth at it. Getting cut off a lot. This is just frozen glass minnows. These fish aren't greedy. They don't care. Watch. Look at them. Look at them behind the boat. Get up in it. See all the boils? So the same anchovies that you guys have seen Brooke and I and her family eat. These things right here, these are anchovies, also known as glass minnows. In the summertime, in the springtime, you freeze them and you save them for the winter because when you're out here and the mackerel are finicky like they are now, you take a handful, Adam will toss them out, it'll get the school fired up, and then you'll throw your tube, catch two or three fish, and then toss out another chunk full or another handful. Um, every day is different. Sometimes they want the spoon, sometimes they want the tube, sometimes... They don't even care if you have chum. Sometimes it's as quick as you can cast a spoon out, straight retrieve. This all, de all depends on the day. Fishing's different every day, we all know that, so you gotta be prepared for it all. Sometimes you gotta bring sardines out here and you catch the jumbos on sardines. Now, all of the stuff, rods, reels, tackles, the tube, rig, the spoons, I'm gonna have all of that stuff linked below. So if you guys wanna do this yourselves, you guys can find that linked below in the description box. And the tube rig is actually really easy to make. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit how to make that. All right, boys, we got giants behind the boat right now. So we were out there in that kind of cleanish water, moved in here towards this greenish tint water in the dirty stuff. And as soon as we got here, no lie, I know that Every time we whip up the camera, we can't get one on video, but if you guys look at the fish box, that's the proof. We probably just caught like seven jumbo mackerel back to back to back, and then as soon as I pulled out the camera, they stopped biting. And that's what you gotta do sometimes, is kind of move from spot to spot to spot, because you're not necessarily getting on a school of fish that's there all day. They might be passing through, and you just happen to be there when they're passing through, and that's it. So, spot number three. Hopefully this is the one. They're hugging bottom. That's why you got to throw that chunk. Keep them up. We're in 17, 20 feet of water. So that's another thing. Reason why you throw the minnows is because you want to raise those fish up to the surface where your lure is. There it is. That's here, boys. He's a large. All right, show us the wonderful deep All right, watch how, watch how perfect this thing works. Unzo. I'm just 
It's gonna get in my zeal. I'm not gonna talk to you. There it is. Adam got his zeal back. Nice one too. Oh yeah, that's a jungle. Made. I don't want to open. Hey, this song needs to go down a little bit. Yeah. Bam. If you guys are liking this video so far with all the drone footage, please go ahead and like the video. It really helps us out as YouTubers mm, grow okay. because YouTube favors liked videos. Did you just feel that gust of wind, Vic? I know. Jumbos are about That's to bite. That's the jumbo call. Yes, sir. Look how many fish are sitting out of the boat. Ten little handful of minnows. Watch how many Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. I wonder. They're not boat showing, are they? No. Let's see. Let's watch this. Large. Do you hook him with my eyes? Vic thinks I'm you lying. You love about. saying that, don't you? Vic thinks I'm lying about stuff like that. I really just look at him and they come off the hook. I swear. Yeah, you look at him a lot in the water and they come off the hook too. Wow. A bit disrespectful there. Jumbo chew. Oh my god. Oh, they're biting now. My reel doesn't sound very healthy. It's going on three straight years of macro. Look how raggy my rod is. <laughs> look, at, look at Adam's hands and his rod butt. You know me. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you to do it slowly. Show them. You take the hook, you wrap put it around it there. The they really de hook themselves. Tube kind of wants to float, but you have a little weight in this. You cast it out. You kind of just dance on top. It's the dumbest looking thing I've ever seen. Macro, the stupidest predator. I mean, why are they eating this? I'm fishing a 100 pound liter in surgical tubing. Chewing it. That's a jumbo, bro. They are like kingfish, dude. The head shakes, everything. Yeah. You want to hook them with your eyes, as you say. So fat. Look at the nurse oh, shark. Oh, look at the shark right there. Oh, that's a big bull. Is it? Big bull shark right there. Yeah. Big bull shark. I know you guys have seen it on the drone today. There's where there's a lot of fish, where there's a lot of forage, there's a lot of sharks. There are sharks everywhere here. When you see them off in the distance, you see them under the boat. Big bull sharks, nurse sharks, lemon sharks, black tips all over. Hey, follow, Vector. It's in the name. Oh my god, did you see him just air out on it, Vic? He did a little cartwheel. I got some moving weights out there. there. You boys know the deal. Alright, I'm saying to de hook him. That's a blue rope. Oh no, it's not. You're I a blue I don't, don't. I don't know why I said that. All right, nice and slow. Look, he's hooked perfectly in the bottom lip. Okay, instead of grabbing that fish, trying to de-hook him, you put him on this steel or metal bar, whatever it is. And twist. And it just twists, and it just breaks their jaw, whatever it does, pops that hook right out. If you guys are wondering why are all the fish on the deck, well, you catch 10, 15 fish in 10 minutes, then they go in the box, and then at the end of the day, we're gonna do a nice saltwater brine. We're gonna take a bunch of salt water, dump it in there. They're gonna get super cold and then they're gonna go to the market. Everything gets sold and it's all legal. Probably one of the most exciting things you can do with a little rod. Normally we'd be fish fishing something even lighter than this, but when you're trying to haul them in the boat, trying to get in many, as many fish in the boat as once. I mean, you see Adam horsing them in. We're not fishing for sport right now, we're fishing out of necessity. Dude, it's every time we bring the camera out, can't catch the jumbo. Average medium. Nothing special to see here, boys. Nothing to see here, boys. This shark's just been touching around the boat all day. So this is the smallest of the mackerel. It's a medium. There's no such thing as a small in the commercial world. It's medium, large, and jumbo. If you guys look behind me, that's the reef, that dark shadow. It runs all up and down the beach for a couple miles, and every year, mackerel will stage up by the thousands, if not millions, and they'll spawn here. So they'll go inshore, offshore, but it's almost guaranteed that if you're here in the wintertime, 
or very early spring, you're gonna find these things congregating everywhere. Jumbo? Jumbo I'll be back to that in a second. I'll probably pull them off next to the boat. Hold That's what we're going for. Jumbos. Ended that real quick. Jumbo mackerel. And the sun. Oh yeah. You guys see those teeth right there? Those little chompers? So that's a jumbo. That's what we're primarily after because they pay the most. This is just tubing. You got all different kinds of tubing online. I'm gonna have some links posted in the description box below of this video. Take your tubing, cut it at an angle so it looks like it has a little tail. like three to five inches depending on what the mackerel want that day. I'm gonna go with like a four inches. Wow. Like that, like that, That's all right? Petite. Now, 7.0 Mustad hook also linked below and you guys can actually save 20% off all Mustad products. That means hooks, jigs, and tough line products. So stuff like leader, fluorocarbon, line, braid, 20% off, use code Landshark linked below. You take a little weight, you gotta make sure that the weight can fit inside the size of your tubing. This is a quarter ounce weight. We're gonna put it through the line. Then we're gonna take our tubing, tail end away from us. So this is where the hook point's gonna be. Put that through there. You wanna shove your lead inside the tubing. And it's okay if that lead comes out because that lead's gonna come out from time to time. And you, shove and, I, it back in. and you shove it back in there. And I remember actually doing this, not with tubes, but at the pier we used to go to McDonald's before they were paper straws, the plastic straws, and use that for mackerel. Put it behind Did the you? bobber. Yeah, and it Smoked worked great. It. So the 7-0 Mustad. Now we tie this on. Just a simple uni knot, and that's it. And then you just push the eye of your hook, of your Mustad, into the tube, and it's just like that. So you do miss a lot of fish with this, but I mean, we've tried throwing spoons, bucktails, and this seems to really be the ticket. So when you're targeting mackerel, it's nice to have a wide variety of things. And the reason we fish such heavy leader is because you want to catch as many fish as possible without having to retie. So that 100 pound, although you might not get as many bites, you don't have to retie that often because the mackerel have teeth. And that's it. So you guys can find all that stuff linked below. All right, boys, we got a full box here. Got a nice fish today, nice size fish today. We're gonna go ahead and pour some salt water in here. We got ice down at the bottom. It's gonna slush those fish i can feel it already getting cold this box Seven. full is like 400 maybe 500 pounds you put the water in mixes around with the ice and as you're running those fish kind of get sloshed around like a washing machine and when they're submerged in the water as opposed to just ice it really cools down their core temperature and gets them super cold and stiff we came in actually a little bit early because the mackerel completely just shut off so yeah, we ran out of chum 350 400 pounds of mackerel this is a jumbo mackerel. He's probably about four pounds. Jumbo's got to be anywhere between three pounds and above. Ow. It's what we classify as a jumbo mackerel. Um, the price always varies on these fish depending on what the quotas are and what people are catching, how many how many pounds of fish are being caught a day. Right now, um, jumbo might be $2. I'd be happy if it's $2. It definitely drove down a little bit because a lot of people have been catching fish past week. Let's say large is 130, 140, and medium is 80 cents a pound. So I'll take it. It's not too bad. In the beginning of the season, it's the best, of course, because nobody's catching fish. And then as the season continues, the price will drop and then the quotas will drop as well. When the season opens, you guys are allowed 3,500 pounds? I think it's 3,500. Yeah. Somewhere around there, 3,500. Commercial fisherman brings his fish to the distributor, someone like Seafood Atlantic. They record everything because they can get in turn, get in trouble. They report it to the government. The government knows exactly how many mackerel are being caught at that point in the year. Once the quota is met, let's say it's 100 tons or 100,000 tons, then they'll reduce the quota to the next level and the next level and the next level. And I think the lowest level for you guys is 500 pounds, right? Yeah, it's 500 pounds. Um, right now it's 1,500, I think or maybe even more than that, I don't know. I don't know, but we definitely didn't meet the quota today, I'll tell you that. It's a really highly regulated process. It's not like all these guys are going out here and just pillaging. So it doesn't matter whether there's 100 boats or one boat, the quota is the quota. Once the quota's met, they reduce it, or if the entire quota is met, they may even shut down the season like they do for bluefins in the Northeast. I'm not sure if that's entirely true for Spanish mackerel, but I'm 
just trying to get the point across is it's all based on numbers that are not arbitrary. This is based on the state's or the federal level's biologists, what they deem is sustainable to be able to catch and take out of the environment. That way the fishery goes on and on and on. And that's the way it's been for years. All right guys, so we got the fish separated by size. We got the larges, mediums, and jumbos in separate coolers. They're back there, so we're about to head to the slab, sell these fish. So you guys can find Adam's channel linked below, Moving Weight Fishing. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please like the video. It actually really helps us out as creators. All of the products that you guys saw me talk about earlier, the tube rig and everything, you guys can find that link below, as well as save 20% off all Mustad, Tough Line, and Dexter Outdoor products. Use my code LANDSHARK, linked below. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.